Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Pick a classmate and let's get started. All right, All right let's, let's find, find out. out. Are, Are you smarter, smarter than, than a fifth grader? grader? Pick, Pick a, subject. a subject. Here is, is our fourth grade, grade question. question. That, that is correct. correct. Pick, Pick another, another subject. subject. And this, and this is important, is important so take, so your, take time, your time, but not, but not too, too much, much time. time. You're playing, You're playing for $5,000. $5, How many How many times does the letter E appear in the following words? Questionnaire. You must have learned something in school because that's, that's the right, right answer. answer. Your classmates, Your classmates can only, can only help you two questions at a time, so, so pick, pick another, another classmate. classmate. Let's, Let's pick, pick a subject. subject. Let's, Let's take, take a look, a look at, at the question. question. Nope. nope. Sorry. Sorry. Oops. Let's see if your classmate can handle this one. Oh, well, oh, you can't, can't win them all. I'd ask the fifth graders, but you are I am definitely not smaller than fifth grader. We'll see you again next time. Congratulations! Let's meet your classmates. Amanda, Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Pick a classmate and let's get started. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. Here is our fourth grade question. You must have been absent that day, huh? Time to find out if the fifth grader knows the answer. It is a good thing your classmate didn't skip class today. Yeah. Pick another subject. And the question goes something like this. Let's see if your classmate knows this stuff any better than you do. At least your classmate didn't sleep through the fifth grade. Yeah. Your classmates can only help you two questions at a time, so pick another classmate. Let's, Let's pick, a pick a subject. All right, for $10,000, can we see the question, please? That's it. That's, That's the right, the right answer. answer. Yahoo! Pick, Pick another subject. subject. All right, All here's right, our here's question, question for twenty-five thousand dollars. <laughs> That was awesome. What you're going to do here is pick out which fifth grader you want to help you answer the really tough questions. Let's pick a subject. For $50,000, here is the question. That is correct. Pick another subject. 
You're playing for one hundred thousand dollars. That's it. That's the right answer. Now the idea here is to pick someone smarter than you to be your classmate. So any of these kids ought to be fine. Let's pick a subject. All right, for $175,000, can we see the question? Now, where I come from, they call that a right answer. Pick another subject. And don't say lunch because it's not up there. All right, here's our question for $300,000. Classmate does this stuff better than you do. I don't know if this makes you feel any better, but that pack of fifth graders all look like they know the answer. I don't know what took you so long to come up with that answer, but I do know that it's wrong. Even the fifth graders can't save you this time. He was right. You have won fifty thousand dollars. All right, it is time to say I am those not eight smarter magic than words. a fifth grader, and I should have listened to a ten year old. smarter than a fifth grader. Even though I thought he was wrong. Congratulations! <laughs> Let's meet your classmates Amanda, Amanda. Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Pick a classmate and let's get started. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. And the question is... Let's just sneak a peek here at your classmate's answer. At least your classmate didn't sleep through the fifth grade. Let's pick a subject. You're playing for five thousand dollars. Oh, let's hope your classmate gets this one right. I guess that really was a tough one. Now repeat after me. I am not I am smarter, not smarter than, than a fifth, fifth grader. grader. Congratulations! Let's meet your classmates. Amanda, Cynthia, Joseph, Edward, and Logan. Pick a classmate and let's get started. All right, let's find out. Are you smarter than a fifth grader? Pick a subject. You are going to need more than a thinking cap for this one. That is not correct. Let's see if your classmate knows what the answer is. Never underestimate the power of fifth grader. Pick another subject. Sorry, they don't get any easier than the first grade. Here is our fifth grade question. I bet you never thought you'd need to remember that later in life. Your classmates can only, can only help two questions, questions at a time, so pick so another classmate. Class mm -hmm. Let's, Let's pick, pick a subject. subject. 
Get ready for a challenge. This is a fifth grade question. Oh, wait. What kind of answer did your classmate come up with? You were just saved by somebody who has to raise their hand to go to the bathroom. Hmm. Pick another subject. Let's see your question. Not too sure of yourself, huh? Well, let's see what your classmate said. These fifth graders really know their stuff. I doubt we have the fifth grade questions. Let's pick a subject. And don't say recess because it is not up there. For $50,000, here is the question. You've already used up all your cheese and your save. How many times does the letter T appear in the following word? Committed. I knew that too. Of course, of course I've, got I've got it written, it written on, the on the part, part here. here. Nice. Pick yeah, another, another subject. subject. And yes, yes, those are all actual, actual great, great school, school subjects. subjects. You're, You're playing, playing for $100,000. $100, Did you even read the question? Man, that was fast. Let's pick a subject. Here is our fourth grade question. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. All right. Now it's down the math. Pick another subject. And this is important, so take your time, but not too much time. All right, here's our question for $300,000. Now where I come from, they call that a right answer. Let's pick a subject. For $500,000, here is the question. You must have learned something in school because that's the right answer. Yes. All right. Pick another subject. You're playing for one million dollars. Bought one apple, four pears, and five oranges. That's ten fruit. You got that one right, and you didn't even have to cheat. All right. Sure. Now, once you see the question, you have to answer. The first name of former U.S. President became James. James Buchanan. You're looking at that question like a dog looks at a ceiling fan. Of 
You can now officially add Smarter Than a Fifth Grader to your resume.